first thing I did was build a metal exhaust bracket that I could weld to, and then from there I just started building a custom exhaust out of plumbing parts. The smaller pieces are 3 quarter inch by I believe 6 inches, and then the bigger ones are 1 inch. And then the piece at the end is like a 1 inch to an inch and a quarter adapter. For this piece here, I drilled a half inch circle into the coupler. Then I screwed in a 1 inch length of tubing into a 45 degree coupler. And on the other end, maybe 4 inch length of tubing. Then I poked the small end into the hole I drilled into the coupler and welded it all up. And then just half inch piping all the way. If we follow this all the way up, it eventually makes its way to a shutoff valve. I use this shutoff valve mostly just to turn off the exhaust from shooting in my face as I'm driving without the bottle in it, but it can also be used as like an emergency shutoff for the kerosene if I couldn't reach the bottle for some reason. And then here it's just attached to a piece of flexible vinyl tubing and hose clamps into a garden sprayer. It needs to be flexible as you can see so we can steer the bike still. I made a bracket to hold the bottle on just out of really thin steel that I just bent into shape and then welded to the frame. And then this garden spray you simply fill with kerosene and then pump up, build pressure inside, and then you can either do just quick sprays to spray the kerosene down into the exhaust pipe or it has a lock function to do a continuous spray until the uh, pressure in the bottle runs out. So the kerosene comes down the tube, past the shutoff valve, all the way down and around, and then dumps right into the exhaust pipe and the pressure from the exhaust blows the kerosene outwards into these two pipes and by the time it reaches the end it's mostly like a mist or a cloud and that kerosene cloud gets ignited and makes the flamethrower. So here I have brackets that I made just out of angle steel and some small pieces of tube steel for mounting my torches to and then just hose clamps holding on the torches. The same thing on the other side flame comes out on the angle and crosses the exhaust in order to ignite the kerosene cloud. And then importantly I have a fire extinguisher just in case I catch myself or something else on fire and then I just made a bracket out of a piece of steel and put some bolt holes into it and then screwed the fire extinguisher right to that. Then I welded the plumbing parts to the frame using angle steel. I welded this piece to the frame right here just using a spare piece of steel. And that's all there is to it! If you attempt, don't blame me if you catch yourself or someone else or something on fire or burn down a house or burn down a forest. Not my fault. Do it at your own risk. Peace.